Hey guys, Exploit here, and I'm back at it again with another Stick War Legacy video. Today I'm going to be going over all the spells in the game, and uh, talking about their strengths, their weaknesses, their purposes, and uh, at the end of the video I'm going to compose a list of the most useful to the most useless spells in the game. Without further ado, we can begin. The first spell that we have here is Minor Hustle. Minor Hustle is honestly one of the, if not, the best spell in the game. Now you may be wondering why Minor Hustle and not another spell, let's say Griffin the Great. It costs more, so it should be better, right? Well, it's hard to compare the two uh, when they're both made for different purposes. Griffin is made for attacking, Minor Hustle is made to get a lot of economy. Uh, minor Hustle starts you off with around a thousand gold if you use it while having five miners out. And it only costs 20 gems versus Griffin, which costs a thousand. Sure, uh, you might be an expensive auto win to a match almost always, except for some cases on insane mode, but Minor Hustle pretty much sets you up for a guaranteed win if you uh, make the right units. So some miners and a spiritin or two and you're pretty much already set because you have a major advantage and you can press in quickly and uh, beat the AI before they can even have a chance to set up. So you can have an almost auto win with little to no gem cost whatsoever, which makes this a very viable and great spell. Honestly, in my opinion, maybe it should be nerfed to have a bigger cost or um, have a decreased time or something because right now it's the cheapest and the best. The next spell that we have here is Rage. Uh, it does double uh, attack speed for the Sword Wraith for uh, 20 seconds. Now in theory that sounds like a pretty good deal, but uh, the problem really is that unless you're on like normal mode, swords are fairly squishy and they die really easily, even if you have a max upgrade. So if you're on an insane, your swords die pretty easily. And uh, it's not the most viable thing, but it's certainly not the worst either. And if you could set up a sword spam, with like maybe a tank in front, then Ridge could be very lethal. The next spell we have is the arrows, and to be honest, this is kind of like uh, the worst spell in my opinion. Uh, it's randomly generated, I believe, uh, with the arrows, they just fire down and randomly hit things, which isn't very good because um, enemies are usually uh, concentrated into one location and only like one tenth of the arrows would actually go there. And uh, not a whole lot would be done, and overall, in my opinion, it would just be a waste of 40 gems. Because it rarely hits its target, and uh, when it does, it doesn't even do that much damage. I mean, it does more than normal arrows, most likely. Or it could do the castle archer arrow damage. I'm not entirely sure, but to be honest, it's not the greatest. And um, you're probably better off buying two minor hustles or something else instead of spending 40 gems on something that will barely hit any of the enemies. Alright, and the next spell that we have is Spirit and Madness, and uh, the Spiritans will do more damage and throw their spears uh, without you having to do it yourself. I'm kind of on the fence about this already because I, I don't really know how to feel because I don't really ever spam Spiritans to the point where this could become viable, but um, when I have tested it, it does pretty well. So uh, I honestly can't bash on it too much because it does do uh, quite a number against the AI if you do stack up a reasonable spiritin count. So overall, it's not the worst idea, and it actually does do some pretty good damage and annihilates statues pretty quickly. Now I personally think statue turret is pretty cool, and uh, the only flaw that really comes with it is that it doesn't do good against uh, a bunch of units at once, but it absolutely annihilates like giants or um, even the final boss and spiritins. But against like many swords or something, it doesn't do well because uh, it doesn't do splash and it only does a lot of damage to one unit. And uh, another flaw is that uh, it kind of switches targets to whatever is in front. So if a giant's almost dead and the sword walks in front, it'll go for the sword instead, which could uh, be kind of troublesome if you uh, are relying on it. But it really shouldn't be uh, relied on as a last resort. You should be uh, using it with your defense if you feel like you're having trouble because this isn't a spell that's just going to win by itself. It needs uh, some support. It also uh, heals up the statue, which is a uh, cool one. The next spell that we have here is the Golden Spiritin. And the Golden Spiritin is essentially an overpowered regular Spiritin with some sick golden armor. His block chance is way higher, he has more HP, and uh, he does more damage. Especially a spear throw. As you can see in this gameplay, it almost destroys a statue on its own, which is just absolutely OP and amazing. 
And yeah, that's the Golden Spear team. The next spell we have is the Summon the Elite, and uh, essentially what it is is four Spiritons and four Archers. And that's really it. Um, it's pretty much a guaranteed win on any of the levels except probably the final one, because um, you have so many units when the AI doesn't because it just starts out, and you could take down the statue really quickly. And yeah, that's about it. Honestly, it's nothing too special. But uh, it is pretty cool that... Uh, it has cool shields and stuff, and that uh, it's a thing because it helps steamroll levels if you are not feeling up to the challenge at the moment. And overall, it's uh, pretty cool. 500 gems, so it's a little costly, but it pretty much gives you a free win, so uh, nothing too shabby. Yeah. The final spell that we have here is none other than Griffin the Great. And arguably uh, one of the best spells in the game. It costs a thousand gems, so it's very costly for some players. It uh, definitely will take some effort to get to it. But once you get it, it's amazing. It just steamrolls like crazy, killing everything. It has so much damage, so much HP, and it's overall just amazing. Now, uh, it's pretty costly, which is why not a lot of people use it, because they can't really afford it. But uh, if you work hard enough, you'll be able to consistently have some Griffin the Greats. And uh, seeing them like dominate a level, it just it lo it's so satisfying to watch and see uh, the AI just die to one unit. And yeah, that's Griffin the Great. Alright, so this is my list of the most useful to the most useless spells in the game in my opinion. Now, uh, I might be incorrect, this is just one man's opinion. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments below. I'd love to see what uh, you think are the best spells and the worst. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!